vijf. Go here for now and then move it back after. Oh, I'm on dry land. Oh, no, nah, move it back because, like, we need to. Okay. Yeah, we need to so we can reach this bollard. Just walking me, just walking me boat, guys. Walking me boat. Hey, puppy, puppy. Good boaty, boaty. Oh no, it's good. Such a good boat. I'm gonna give it a treat when we when I get back and get back home. Give my boat a treat. Mate, let's go there for now, won't we? Sort that other stuff out once we're actually tied up. In she comes. Come on, sir. Oh no, it's wet. Ah, it's so wet. And the final springer. Officially tied up. Huh? In the bow. No, no, it's still not going to get tied up. Oh. Equal. Equal? Extension. Join 
some lines together. sheet bend drawing these lines up Like just sure. I need to put this on the inside. <sighs> I'm using my third leg at the moment to hold me up. Double sheet bend. I actually already told him. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's better. Always good to take your time when tying up, isn't it, Bryce? Make sure everything's good. Yeah. And I think we're sweet. Move some fenders about. Put this one over here. Um, sort of just throw the fenders everywhere to start off with till we figure out where we're going to sit at the wharf. Because um, otherwise, well, no, otherwise, you've always got to change them around. Lower them down a bit. Right, well, we're back at the wharf and it is 8.45. We're not unloading till 9.30, I think the message was. So what we're going to do now is the main motor's turned off. We're going to get ready to let that just cool down. Um, we're going to do an oil change and filters on that. I'll have to check the book and everything to triple check if we don't have to do other things. Um, we're about to plug the power in. So we use three-phase power. This is the, our reader, our meter, so we know how much we use. And we can pay the bill accordingly. Big ass um, cord. The big old cord. So, yeah, we'll, I'll just check the power box. Just make sure there's nothing burnt out or nothing tripped or anything because we don't want that happening. Um, plug that in, turn the genset off, let the genset cool down. We've got to do the same thing. We may as well get the oil changes done today. Otherwise, we'll just sort of, there's no point going home. If I go home, I think my partner and my little one have COVID and half the other side of the family have COVID too. So. I don't know whether I'm just going to stay on the boat for a bunch of days or not. I don't know. We're leaving in a couple of days, but I might just stay on the boat. But I'll work that out as we go. Um, just do little things like our gauges and the, the calipers. We soak them in fresh water and soap. And after a, a little rinse in that, we get the uh, lubricant out on the calipers and lube them all back up so they're in good working order. Put them in a bag, store them away. So um, these have been on here quite a while, as you can sort of see but they always work, and that's the important thing. Um, Lockie's gonna take home some stuff. Um, all this stuff in the bin is, like those knives, they'll just need sharpening. The skewers, they're gonna need fixing. The the rope, it's, he's gonna use that at his place to fix up a few things. Um, probably have one or two things to do with the pots. I don't like things that hang off the pots like this. So we're, I'm gonna cut these off. 
Um, just have a look at the gear. I did see a hole somewhere here somewhere or something that I wasn't happy with, but I'll find that and fix that. Um, bait wise, I don't think we're doing anything with the bait. I think that's all pretty good. Um, got to clean the windows. So the whole boat's going to get fresh water washed. Uh, there's a fire hose here that we can use and we just pack it back up neat and tidy. These floats, I'll need to go back home and they need to be fixed, redone as well. Um, plus we've got some new ones at home that need to be made up. All of this cardboard, um, it was too wet to put in the freezer. I don't want to throw big wet boxes in the freezer, but we're going to take that up to the recycling. And then the I've got to go home and get my ute at least, and then we can pick up all the other cardboard we have in the freezer, take that to the tip, take the garbage bins up to the tip, um, and yeah, really just, just keep things clean and tidy and yeah, but other than that, I think everything went pretty well. It's a good morning. It's a very good morning. Um, yeah, so we'll get into the power now. I think Lockie's, oh, going to be there. Lockie's just running the cord. And then I'll go down to the engine room and get ready to flick it on. So a lot of so a lot of people laugh at us, Lockie and I, with when we fuel up and when we um, do things like we are now, the power, we use the walkie-talkies because I can't stand yelling out, running back and forth, and I don't see the point, and for the price of one of these, considering he can just stand up there waiting to do what he needs to do, um, it's I find it a lot easier. I don't have to yell out to him, the gen set's gone. You don't have to run out, run back, all that sort of thing. You can just be like, oh, is the, you turn it on, yep, turn it on, I'm all good, etc., etc. Or when you're fueling up, he's at the sight glass and we're filling up. You don't have to worry about spills or things like that, but, and you, you can even get a bit more in there. But anyway, we'll jump in the engine room and start checking it out. The main motor is off, the gen set's off, the freezer's now turned on. We've got a tank pump running, which is keeping the, the circulation going in the uh, lobster tank. So I can tell all of that by all the lights that are on. And that, you can also hear them and you can feel them move and things like that. Right, I've done the gen set. Lockie's hosing off the boat, he's done the rubbish, he's cleaned the bins out. 
Um, yeah, what have I I've done? The gen sets that are cleaning the engine room. The truck is just arriving. Um, yep, truck's arrived. So I'm gonna. This is how you do pump the tank out. You probably won't be able to hear me, but I will. Uh, you'll see me do movements. <laughs>
Dead one, mate. Not even a leak down there. No, it's actually pretty clean, which is good. Healthy. Yeah, we'll be able to just uh, give it a quick once over before we head back out. Unload's done. We are now going to do the paperwork, all the fun paperwork, fill this all out, and then we'll be sweet as. I'll show you the back of the truck. Well, we ended up with 467 kilo. Uh, with the price, we'll probably average between 65 and $67 a kilo. Um, 
Now look, that, that probably sounds good when you do the math on it. However, you need to understand that out of that $65, $30 of that has to be paid for quota. So that's split in half. Um, so that leaves us with $35. Now, that's the perfect margins. That's the margins we need to run this boat and the business and things like that. We need $35 to the boat to actually make money. So we have covered the fuel, the bait, the insurance, the, the, the wages and things for the last X amount of days. However, with the remaining amount, um, there is basically nothing at all left for the business. So right now we're looking at leaving in the next two, three days. Um, there's a perfect weather window to fish the West Coast again. I don't know whether, due to other reasons, I've got other things I've got on as well, I don't know whether we're going to stay in the same area we were, which we were getting that 100 odd fish a shot, um, or we're going to go further north. We may go up near Strawn, which I've never been up there. I know, I was just talking to another boat, they're going up that way. Another guy behind us, he's going up that way. Um, there's two other people I know are going that way. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, the boat has to be back here in September to do some filming for the TV show, but. Uh, yeah, that's sort of got me in a bit of a predicament at the moment. Otherwise, I'll be going up there. Yeah, but that's the next thing to guess. Anyway, I'll deal with that tonight. Um, finishing off the website. It's nearly done. And, um, yeah. Um, hopefully, the website's out. The website should be out by the time uh, you guys watch this well and truly. Um, Link will be in the description. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to give us a follow, all that sort of whatever's. Um, it's muchly appreciative, appreciated, I always say appreciative. Um, oh, I'm just tired, I didn't get much sleep. But beautiful morning, Lockie's hosing down the outside. I've done some oil changes. I've done some cleaning in the engine room, cleaned up down here, um, finishing off paperwork now. Uh, and then we've got to do a tip run, which we've done half of. Um, yeah, all sorts of little odds and ends. Do a bait count and figure out if we need more bait or not. Uh, ordered fuel, that should be here tomorrow. Um, yeah, go through all the systems, shut everything down. You don't want things running to drain your batteries and that while you're home. Um, yeah, anyway. Hopefully you've enjoyed these last few videos and we'll be back in a few days. So I guess the next video will be a few maybe boat things and then we'll be out of here um yeah sweet if there's any content you do want to see please do write it in the comments like if there's anything specifically you want to look at and you want to see or want to know more about please do ask like more than happy to do a small video on on, on those things so um yeah that's sweet thank you for watching